Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's an actual victimless crime? Jaywalking when there are no cars on the road. In the state of Colorado that took jaywalking off as a criminal offense now you can't get arrested. Unless you cause an accident or impede traffic in such a way that it ruins daily traffic. Also they hand you a pamphlet about the risks of jaywalking. Jaywalking was a kind of made up crime perpetuated by the growing US. Auto injury to make it seem like cars weren't as dangerous as they are. Sleeping in your car when you are too drunk and can't drive. Just don't sleep in the driver's seat. Can still get a DUI just for being behind the wheel even in a parked car. Edit. And apparently in a lot of places just for being inside the car and having possession of the keys. Which is nuts. In many states you can get a Dewey for having the keys on you and being asleep in the back seat. A buddy of mine beat that charge by putting his keys in the trunk and just locked the doors from the inside. He got woken up by a cop and was given the tests. He was too drunk to finish them, still. He was asked where his keys were and he said in the trunk. I can't get to them unless I hit the button under the dash. Which he was still too drunk to point out. The cop let him go back to sleep. Downloading very old games that are no longer available for sale. The Sims and The Sims 2 are a great example of this. I'd pay money for them if they'd actually still sell them. But we have to resort to other means to get them. There's no legal way to play the Deadpool game. It's not even that old. It's just that Activision's license to produce Marvel games expired. Because of this, the only way to play it is by pirating it. As an ER nurse, I give a lot of shit away to patients against the rules or advise them where they can get it. Cheaper. Big hospitals have more money than God. But want me to send you home with one or two wound supplies for a wound that will take four weeks to heal. Fuck that. Here's a box of 50 for your purse. I never gave that to you. Hey, you need crutches, and here they are, but first. Before you sign that you got these. These crutches are $1,000. The same or better are on Amazon for $50 or less. I'm not telling you how to live your life. But I can offer you a free wheelchair ride out to your son's car. You could argue that the hospital is the victim here. I'm telling you that the hospital gets a discount on supplies and marks them up 1,000% to sell to those going through an emergency. Who's really the victim? So, this just happened to me in the past month. I was out of state, visiting my kids, and had to go to the ER because I did something to my shoulder. Was in a ton of pain. Couldn't lift my arm, etc., etc. Get to the ER, and realize that I didn't have my insurance card with me. No problem. Just bill me. I'll file it with my insurance after I get the bill. Note, my insurance has an out-of-network ER visit set at $500. So, get home, a few weeks later, get the bill from the ER. Oh, we noticed that you didn't have insurance on file. So we do understand that hospital bills can be hard. So we've given you the uninsured discount of $250. What? Question mark. So, if I file with my insurance, I'll end up paying twice what the hospital is going to charge me for paying in cash. Guess what I did? We recently moved from an apartment to a house. Due to some complications and delays I couldn't be there for the morning of moving day so my wife would have to handle the movers getting stuff from our apartment, furniture only. We moved all the boxes ourselves, but she didn't feel confident handling it and asked her parents to come down. Long story short, it's a rainy day and my Phil decides the first thing he should do upon entering the new house with wet shoes on his head into the basement, where he proceeds to slip and fall down literally every stair. Yes, there is a railing. He gets to the hospital and without thinking tells the doctor that he fell at his daughter's new house. He wasn't malicious. He just wasn't thinking. I of course want him to be okay. He had to have surgery but is otherwise now fine. But embracing for his insurance to sue our new homeowner's insurance. Making my life hell for the forcible future. Except total bro doctor lists, undisclosed location, as source of the fall. Saving my ass thousands upon thousands of dollars in future costs against my insurance. Emulating and or pirating a game that is no longer available by any means. A new report says 87% of games released before 2010 are no longer commercially available. And it's a huge loss. HTTPS www.google.com slash amp slash s slash amp dot the guardian dot com slash games slash 2023 slash jewel slash 12 slash pushing dash buttons dash playing dash old dash video dash games. Thankfully this is causing the US Library of Congress to rethink the exemption on gaming companies. Providing them working copies of source code to ensure the games can always work. Putting coins in someone else's parking meter. I don't understand why this would become illegal in the first place other than to just jack up. Fines. Which tells me some crooked AF people made this a law. They don't want one car to take up a parking slot for a long time. Stores want high turnover so they can get more customers in the same period of time. They'd rather have three people shop for one hour each than one person shop for three hours. Eating food out of someone's garbage. Linus has entered the chat. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. 
Many things if they're simply not witnessed. Taking off your pants in the park at night is absolutely a crime. Actually two separate crimes. But if nobody is there to see it, no harm has been done. And there is nobody to be bothered that you trespassed after sundown. Even just going to a park or whatever that's closed after, say, 10 p.m. I totally get that there's a reason for that. But if I'm just going to stargaze, it's still a crime. I used to work for a community rec center that had an outdoor park. I was a supervisor so my job was to lock all the doors. The park closed at 10 p.m., rec center closed at 11 p.m. One night I locked everything up and went outside where my friend was waiting to pick me up. I get in the car just after 11 p.m. We're sitting talking for maybe 10 minutes when a police car pulls up right behind us with the lights. On. Police officer comes up to the window and asks for both our ids. I tell him I just finished working at the rec center. I even showed him my t-shirt with the name and logo of the place on it. He calls for backup or they just show up. Either way within 10 minutes there's three cars and they're running our names and asking all kinds of questions. They asked me three different times if I had any warrants. I had just moved back to the US and was only here for like three months at that point. Only had my passport as ID, not even a driver's license. All that for sitting in a parking lot next to a park.